What is up guys? This is your boy Nave and look what we have here. So this just literally came in the mail today just like 5-10 minutes ago. So this is another ENC M4, alright? So why ENC? Because for the price you just can't beat it. And uh, you can see that it is somewhat shorter than before which was my ENC 809 uh, but for some reason I had to sell it off because I found that it was too long for me so um, if you know I have my G36C and uh, I like CQB sized guns although I am quite tall you know uh, quite a big man but still my play style I like to keep it small and um, I guess there's no point in not saying that what model gun this is because you would already see it in the title. So yes, this is the ENC 398. So if I'm not mistaken, this is taking the shape of the BCM um, CQB 11. I think so. Um, you would see this gun being used by John Wick, uh, John Wick, and uh, Tyler Rake. In the movie Extraction, all right. So obviously Tyler Rake, that is in the Extraction movie, and then John Wick is, well, you know, John Wick movie. So I'm not gonna yammer on too long. Let's get on with it. And uh, I believe this uh, particular model actually is the one that was used in the uh, Fast and Furious Eight, I believe. So, um, hey, just give me a second here. Let me get my facts straight later on. Uh, because the only distinctive uh, differences of the uh, two, are the one used in John Wick and the one used in um, Extraction, they both have like a different flash hider than the one used in uh, Fast and Furious 8. So in the Fast and Furious 8 franchise, it, I believe it has the um, M2 style, you know, birdcage style uh, flash hider, the one that you would see in a standard M4A1. So that is the one that you can expect to see here. Let me see. And uh, once we are done ripping this off, you will see that it is actually upside down because my information is on the upper side. So just for security purposes, you know how it goes. Okay. One more thing I uh, liked about this one is that it, it is now coming with a mid-cap magazine. So I haven't been playing Airsoft that long. I have like... I don't know, a uh, couple weeks of experience, but I tend to overshoot as you would expect from a beginner airsofter. So I don't know how to control my shots. You know, if just if I see something moving, I'm just gonna shoot it. So that's how it goes. So this one, let me just do this again. That was not enough apparently. So it's really a good training to have mid caps and plus less noise when uh, running mid caps. Um, so obviously, um, as you would also see in the title, I did not just order this gun. I also ordered uh, three Lonex mid caps, uh, the polymer styles, uh, 200 rounds, and uh, right off the box. It should be, uh, if you're gonna be ordering it, it should be wired into Mini Tamiya. But then I uh, specially ordered it to be rewired into Deans because I already have a Deans uh, battery here and uh, I didn't want to buy another battery because of budget, obviously. So uh, for now, since game sites are not yet open, I'm just gonna keep using my one battery. And perhaps, I don't know, uh, perhaps it is time for me to retire my uh, G36C. But, I don't know, still too early to say that. So let's get on to it. There's the box, usual ENC packaging. 
you can see over here your carry handle other side I don't know if you can see it that says EC398 other side would be just some instructions pop up East EMC East Cray there you go let me just put this down okay so where are the flaps oh there you go okay so this is both the first time for you and I to see this gun get it unboxed there you go well not yet <laughs> Okay, so this is the usual ENC catalog. So if you open this up, uh, you should be seeing the same with my uh, ENC 809 unboxing. So, there you go. Okay. And the instruction manual. Let's see. One also good thing about this one is that uh, with the magazine, it has a uh, base plate and there we go this is just the packaging two fives um, I only got one because um, it, just to close in my budget so uh, I had like a couple hundred left in my budget so I thought why not just get another bag of BBs which uh, this would be my third bag actually I already have like two bags in my room so there you go and this is the standard Minutamia, and then I guess this is the, yeah, this is going to be the female end of the Deans. So, this is going to be the one for your battery. So, you can expect for this one to be wired already to Deans. The silica pack, and then uh, right off the bat, I can see, oh, let me see, oh, okay, this is the magazine base plate. There you go. So uh, just like with other reviews, you can see that markings are covered with stickers. So let me just put this here. Okay. And this is going to be the magazines, actually. Uh, it's hard for me to tell which ones are the Lonex. I think these are the Lonex because uh, they're the ones who are different from the one over here. I'm guessing this one is... Okay, just by the feel itself, you could tell that this is the standard uh, ENC mid-cap that comes with the package. And yeah, it has the bottom um, there. So that is where you will uh, remove the base plate, actually. So I'm not sure how many rounds you can fit in this mid-cap with the standard that comes with it. But with this one, I believe it's going to be 200 rounds each. All right, so I have yet to purchase a speed loader. I'm still gonna, I'm gonna end up using the 90 round um, speed loader for my pistol. So it may be a chore. So we don't, well, we aren't playing still anyway. So I guess that could wait. All right, so pin here and then like a screw. Um, let me show you how to do that later on. Let me just get my tools later. I forgot to bring it with me. And, okay, into the gun. Let me just see here. Oh, there you go, this is beautiful. Okay, so, BCM stop. So, I believe you just press it. And then how you remove it is, you're gonna press down on this, and then put in like a Allen key and then pull it off all right so one good uh one more reason why i got this gun was that um the angle of the grip so i'm not too fond of the angle you know standard angled grips so this one is definitely a good choice for me yeah definitely you can uh, feel the difference in there so like I said CQB length um, yeah, let me just do some uh, show you the stickers um, I believe it should say it is a DCM uh, lower and then I'm not sure about this upper charging handle 
Okay, so on the dummy bolt, it says BCM and then there's your ENC rotary style hop up. So down for hop and then up for no hop. Press down on here. Okay, I believe this should only be like around nine, nine inches, even though it says KMR 13 on this side. So I'm sorry for just uh, flinging the gun in your face. Uh, I'm just gonna take photos later on. There you go. It says KMR 13 for some reason. That means a key mod rail 13 inches, but it is actually just like nine inches because when I uh, like put the G36C on top of this box, uh, it came in at around the same size. So there's that. Okay, quick look around. KAC style, uh, Knight's Armament style, front and rear side. I must say, I don't think I'm too much of a fan of this side. Let me see the side picture. Oh, okay, so this is a lot better side picture. Um, it has a bigger hole, as opposed to the ENC uh, 112, I believe. Um, it had too small of a hole up top. So, this one, all right, so, I'm too excited I'm talking too fast. Uh, let's try the fitment on the standard magazine. Okay, so that is a good fit. Perfect, all right. Does not drop free, but I guess that's okay. Okay, let's try the Lonex mag and it comes in, no problem. And it drops free. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. Oh wow, this is perfect. All right. So, uh, usually these Lonex mags, they come in uh, six packs, but obviously for budget reason, I was only able to get three, which uh, makes sense in my loadout because I have uh, three mag pouches on my plate carrier and then one in the mag, uh, one in the gun. So this way, if ever I get to play anytime soon, I'm gonna definitely be controlling my shots, so. Okay, quick look around. Let's see the clicks on this. All right, that's safe. Semi and auto. Okay, it has clicks. Perfect, just what I like. Okay, so uh, let, let me pause the, uh, the, vi uh, the video over here and then uh, let me get some tools and then uh, let me remove all the stickers and then I'm gonna show you a zoomed in version of this. All right, also I'm gonna show you how to remove the stack and put in the battery. Oh wow, this is so perfect. Okay.
Okay, so um, when it comes to removing the stock, actually, um, I have seen this video where it says um, all you need is some type of Allen key. So obviously, I used the uh, two small I have, but it also said in that video review that if you can use like a bigger one, it's gonna be easier. So I'm sorry for embarrassing myself earlier. So um, this one is almost like the same size as this hole here. So he says in the video that if you were able to source a bigger Allen screw, uh, Allen key, you won't have to do all those pinching and sliding motion. All you need to do is just make sure that this fits inside and it goes through the second hole. And all you need to do is just press it downward like that and it should come off freely oh okay that's a life changer thank you very much to that video I don't remember who it was so put it back and then just press it down and then it's not gonna come off anymore All right so again just push it down like this and then you'll be good to go so let me just run that one more time how to put in the battery so let's say it's already out Put this battery in. I'm doing this behind the camera, so pardon the angle. Okay. And what I did was uh, I kind of looped it around like this to somehow make it short so that it doesn't uh, get hit by the butt stop. And then just uh, try to connect the connectors together. And there you go. Sorry for the bad angle, guys. Okay, and to the stop. Again, just push it outwards. So it's currently here, so push it outwards, all right? Put the stock back in. And it should go in freely. There you go. But since the battery is quite long, you will not be able to collapse the stock any longer, uh, any shorter than this. So I guess this is like the third position of the stock. And obviously, to the farthest so that is the longest you can go and then this is the shortest you can go which I don't mind um, this is like my natural position of stock anyway I'm guessing this is like the third or fourth so let's remove that again okay so let me just remove the stock for safety measures and uh, I have already tried shooting this um, it's just that I was not able to take video of it because I didn't have the right background for it So it was showing our backyard actually so. Okay, so shooting review uh, As I have showed you how to load this one um, I was getting some kind of misfeed for some reason so I had to remove it and reinsert it But hey, it works at least so I have yet to try out these three Lonex magazines so perhaps some other time but as you can see I don't see if you can they have longer followers so I guess that is the reason why with the reviews that I was watching before um, they tend to feed all of the BBs so I guess that's one of the reason why this is a great purchase. So this is the ENC mag. So as you can see, it has like a flat follower that ends right around here. But this one, it is extended. Actually, you know what? Well, I have the Lonex mag here on my hand. Let's try to load it. Uh, these are 0.23s actually. Okay. It feeds a lot better than the ENC, a lot smoother. So I have high hopes for this mag. Okay, let's see. All right, so they don't fall out. Okay. Oh, wow. This is feeding a lot better than the ENC. I guess this is really worth the money. Thumbs up. All right, all I have to do now is just buy me a better loader. You know what, let me just empty it out right here. Okay, I guess that's the last of it. There we go. 
Okay. And let's try to see and uh, eject them into this bottle that I put them in. Okay, put this here. See? Oh my god, I'm so anxious. I don't want to make a mess. There you go. Oh, okay, that was fast. Hmm. This is really great. I guess what I have to do next is rack up some money to buy more Lonex mags. Okay, so I think this is open. Okay. Alright, so one thing that I wanted to tell you about the sights. These are really great. I like them already. I know I said earlier that I didn't like the KAC style sights, but I changed my mind because you can adjust them with your thumbs. No need for other tools. So turn this one as you can see. And this one as well as the rear. Okay, if you want to adjust the elevation, just rotate here. Adjust the windage, rotate here. Okay, perfect. Um, one more thing why um, that, I, that I'm looking to do on this one is, as you know, I have a four inch um, mock suppressor. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put that here. I'm just gonna have to remove this uh, birdcage flash hider. And perhaps I'm just gonna put this into my G36C. And then I'm gonna put the suppressor here. How do you wanna see that? Um, you know what, why not? Why not? Okay, uh, let me get the tool. Let me see the correct fit of. Okay, let's see here. Like, you know what, I don't want to mess up the wiring. So let me put the stock back in before we do that. I don't wanna mess it up. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, it's not going in any further, but I guess that's all right. Okay, so as you would expect, at least I think so, these have negative uh, negative threads, uh, at least for the actual flash hider itself. But for this one, it's gonna, we're gonna have to rotate to the left. I'm just not sure if I'm gonna keep the, the suppressor on because I don't have the bag for it. Obviously the box that it comes in uh, for this gun, it's kind of just right about the same size as this. So I may have to remove the suppressor every now and then, but I'm gonna use it. Let's see if it's gonna, okay, that's going off. All right, perfect. So turning clockwise to remove, this is 14 millimeters, okay. Okay, this is quite long, I guess that's all right. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then we have this washer and an O-ring over here. Okay, so um, let me just get the suppressor real quick. Uh, let me just pause the video here and then I'm gonna get back with the suppressor. It's in my room, I'll be right back. And we are back, okay. Here's the suppressor. Stay back 100 meters or you will be shot. Okay, this suppressor was a gift to me by my brother um, last Christmas, but I used to have the ENC 809 back then, but because it had a super long handguard that it covers the barrel. I was not able to use this for a long time. So I would sometimes put it on the G36C, but it would then impede the, what do you, the, what do you call it? The handguard. So as you know, that is where you put the battery. So you have to remove that every time. So it was just kind of a hassle, but there we go. All right. Okay. Sense. This washer, uh, I think this is called the crush, something like crush washer, I think. And it had an O-ring, so this is really a good fit. It's not over threading, so no worries about uh, getting loose threads. Okay, I'm sorry for getting out of frame. 
There we go. Okay. You know what? I already came in my room to get the suppressor, but why didn't I get the red dot that I have? But so far, that looks beautiful. Oh wow. I'm super happy with this one. Okay. Okay, so uh, let me just pause the video again. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, let me just get the red dot. Let me get back with you. Let me just put this down. Put this down. Remove the magazine and then pause. And we are back. All right, thank you very much for waiting. Which I guess just like a split second. Um, before we get into the red dot, let's just browse through the positions. I folded the wire over so that it's going to be easier for us. So there's a zero. Next is... This is really stiff. One. Two. Three. Four. Is that four? And this is five. So five. Four, three, two, one. Wait, I think I messed it up. Okay, that's one. Oh, there you go. Five, four, three, two. Oh, there you go. Two, one, and zero. So a total of six positions. All right. Okay, let me just let uh, lay this down. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna keep the suppressor on. Uh, I'm just gonna carve out the foam on the box itself. And then um, I'm gonna keep this flash hider. I don't, let me see. Let me just put this back here. I'm just gonna keep this. I'm not gonna put it in the G36C to avoid any scratching for that matter. Okay. Um, I said to myself that I'm not gonna be putting any attachments on this gun, but, you know, just to avoid it getting scratched up and all that. But hey, I'm just a man. So why not? Okay. Let's just do a quick look at that one. Alright, overall I'm really happy, I'm really happy for this purchase, I'm so happy I made this purchase and uh, I would say the shop that I got it from but I guess this isn't a sponsored video so I would rather not and uh, how much I got it for, yeah, I'm sorry but I'm not going to disclose that in this video as well, so we're just going to have to look up, to look around. So this is the red dot that I have. I already have the protector installed. So um, as of the moment, this is the only red dot that I have, but I will be looking into some EO Tech style in the future because you know, EO Tech, right? Okay, let's put in the battery. So as of the moment, with the G36 that I have, the only attachment I have is the uh, angled foregrip and no, no optic on it, no optics of some sort, just the plain old stock iron sights, which is fine I guess. So like I said, I will be uh, getting myself an EOTech in the future, so this is going back to the G36 anytime soon, but for now, let's just use this one. Okay, multi reticle, let's see. There we go, All right? I like to use this one. So I've already made a video on this one, I believe. So I'm not gonna uh, browse through the settings anymore. So let me just go ahead and grab the correct size of Allen key, and then let's get on to it. Okay, okay I guess that's good enough. Okay, so what I like to do is I tend to line it up with the mag wall. So this goes right around over here, I guess, or here. Does that look right? Let me see. Does that look right? Mm -hmm. so, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of a 
I'm kind of picky when it comes to this. So it may take a while choosing. Let's put it here, I guess. But does that look aligned to you? No. Okay, I guess, oh. Oh man. Okay, let's put it here. Let me just put it, uh, push it back. Just for the moment. Okay. Right. Let me just screw this in. I also have the Magpul RSA, which is the uh, rail sling attachment that I may put over here for a two-point sling because it has this sling swivel at the back for a one-point slings. But I am going for that extraction slash John Wick, no doubt. And overall, I think the two-point sling is an overall better choice for stability. But the game sites that I go to, before at least, are only CQB uh, field, so close quarters, so no need for much stabilizing. So it's pretty much like a shoot and go situation. So there you go. Okay. Uh, this uptake is zeroed for the G36C, so I may have to do that uh, to re-zero this. So, okay, so I guess that's about it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I would keep on talking because I love this gun, but my brother is calling me, so um, big brother duties. Thank you very much, uh, guys, for watching, and uh, I hope to see you guys soon. All right.